So you want to go ahead and start up an Instagram business profile, but you're not too sure what it is. Maybe you don't know how it works, or maybe you're scared that Instagram is going to go ahead and penalize you on your reach. On this video, we're going to cover Instagram business versus personal profiles inside and out. Welcome to the video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Anthony. I actually run a 1 million follower network on Instagram, and I also run an Instagram marketing agency, and I make videos like this to help you guys take your accounts from zero to hero. So make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for the most up-to-date working Instagram strategy and let's go. So first off, what is a Instagram business profile? An Instagram business profile compared to a personal profile is actually upgrading it so that you can get backend analytics into your Instagram account. Obviously, you have to upgrade this because a normal person who is just using Instagram just casually doesn't really need backend analytics because they're just posting what they ate for dinner and just posting little things that they do with friends. When you're a business or you're trying to grow your Instagram pages, you kind of want to have analytical tracking and you can track things like the genders of your followers, what times a day that your followers are active, how many impressions and reach your profiles get, how many saves of pictures get, the likes you get, the comments you get. You have all this stuff packed up into one convenient package that is simply on the back end of Instagram. On a personal profile, you really don't have anything. You can go ahead and switch your profile to private and that is really the only thing that you can do on a personal profile that you cannot do on a business profile. On a business profile, you cannot switch your profile to private. It, but that shouldn't be uh, any worry to you anyways because as a business you want your your uh, profile open you want people to actually find you if it's on private you're gonna be doing yourself a disservice business profiles also allow for email or call buttons now I normally say to always use email but if you're an actual local business maybe a hair salon maybe a HVAC company maybe a carpenter company then it's fine to put the call button there because people might just want to immediately go and call you and you know when they search up on Google say you're an HVAC company and then they see your Instagram profile and they search your company up on Google well if you're not the first ranking person on Google they might actually call another company so if you are a brick-and-mortar business make sure you have that call button right there for your customers convenience now business pages also get story swipe ups you get story swipe ups once you hit 10,000 followers now what this does is it is it's a second link that you can go ahead and use for your Instagram Instagram used to only be able to allow you to link to one place and that was through the website section of your profile bio but now through swipe up links you can actually use pin up stories and that's basically a permanent link that stays there forever or temporary links if you don't pin your stories swipe ups are the hands down best way to actually drive traffic from Instagram to an external source now another thing that a lot of people also forget is that business pages can run ads you must be a business page in order to run ads and the benefit that you can get from being able to put together ads to drive traffic to your Instagram page to drive traffic to your business or anywhere else especially because of how cheap Instagram ads are right now is insane so just being able to run ads alone justifies becoming a business profile now for those of you guys who are trying to figure out should I become a business profile because what if Instagram starts to crack down on this and limit businesses reach my answer to you is you adapt okay don't hold back now because of speculation of what may happen in the future the amount of benefits that you get from becoming a business profile far outweighs you know what if there's you know less reach a year from now okay don't let just speculation and what ifs hold you back from implementing something that is going to go ahead and 10x your business right now life is always revolved around adapting whether it's business or whether it's anything else if it does happen in the future if it does happen a year two years from now you will simply adapt you will simply adapt to the change and there will always be a workaround there's always something that you can go ahead and do to regain engagement or to do something that competitors aren't doing so my personal opinion is go ahead and switch to a business account. I run all of my accounts that are all under my network. They are all business accounts. The things that you can do with it, the analytics you have, the fact that you can run ads and you story swipe ups once you're at 10,000 followers far outweighs, oh, what if reach is you know, bad in a year from now? It far outweighs that. So I would go ahead and just turn into a business profile. Now, if you're struggling to grow your Instagram or you're trying to get the ball moving, maybe you're trying to either gain followers or make money and really just turn Instagram into a full-time business business for yourself, then I do have an advanced training that is free. I'll leave it linked in the description. Again, if you're serious about Instagram, go ahead and take this training. I very recently put it together. It is brand new and it covers everything. I hope you guys took massive value out of this video. If you did, give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're trying to grow, if you're trying to monetize, if you're trying to learn actual Instagram marketing and strategies and not the good old be consistent and be patient bullshit, then this is the channel you want to go ahead and subscribe to. Let me know in the comments. Are 
you an Instagram business profile or are you a personal profile and what are your thoughts on it? Again, I hope you took massive value out of this video. Keep grinding, keep hustling, and I'll see you all on the next one.